Hi there, and welcome to the video version of this week's e-newsletter. And this week, I want to talk to you about love, specifically about your relationship with your spouse or with your significant other. And I've got a question for you, and then I've got a question that can really empower your relationship if you ask it of your significant other. And it simply goes like this. So for you, here's the question. What is it that your spouse does for you that makes you most feel loved and cared for? And you know, your answer might be, what do you wish they did for you that would make you feel really loved and cared for? It's a really important question to ask yourself because oftentimes what we want from our partner is what we give to our partner, but it's not necessarily what our partner most wants from us. So getting clear about what we want helps us to notice if we're making assumptions about what causes our partner to feel loved and cared for and respected and adored and all of those things that any of us love from the person that's most important in our lives. So I want you to get clear about that one first because then I want you to ask your partner this question. What is it that I do for you that makes you feel most loved, most cared for, and special in our relationship? And then just listen. Now, if your relationship has been a little rocky or you've been having some trouble, you might have to be really, really honest and ask, what do you wish I would do that would make you feel special and loved and cared for? And then listen. Listen without getting defensive about the fact that maybe you, it isn't something that you've done recently, or maybe you haven't done it at all. Instead, listen with a loving ear and with the intention of giving your partner what they most want. We get in a lot of trouble when we give our partner what we most want, <laughs> because it may not be what they need. And so while we feel like we're giving our all because it's what we would want, they're missing it altogether because it doesn't make them feel the way it would make you feel. This is a huge mistake that so many couples make and it's a really easy fix. If you will notice what is it that I want and what is it that my partner wants? And rather than just asking all the time for what I want, can I? right now find out what my partner wants and can I give that to them? Can I be more intentional about expressing love in the way that they need it? That's it. That's all I'm asking you to do this week. And if you want more life strategies, go out to my video blog. It's at ValerieBurton.com forward slash blog. I'll talk to you next time.